an average person types about 36 words per minute, and a programmer is about 50, and a professional typist goes over to 90 or up to 120 words per minute. So if we are typing code, say, uh, 3 or 4 hours every day, and suddenly we can type twice as fast, we are basically saving ourselves 1.5 or 2 hours a day, and that is about 8 hours a week. So you get one working day a week just for free by just increasing your typing speed. So since we are basically a professional code producers, a typers if you wish, we should type faster and increase our productivity. And I got a few comments about uh, the typing speed in my videos, and I am by no means a fast writer, but here are some tips that might help you if you are just starting to learn programming. And here I'm not talking about control, save or copy paste shortcuts, but how to quickly navigate through your code, so the usual changes of codes to save yourself a lot of time every day. And the most useful shortcut, in my opinion, and I see a lot of people not using is, is the uh, control key on Windows or the option on Macintosh. And I think that majority of shortcuts are similar on Macintosh as well, but you, you, you can convert them uh, a bit. So the control key is very uh, powerful for navigation because it usually amplifies your uh, movement. So if I would have to go one character to the right, I can do that with the control arrow and just skip the entire word here. So I can just go through words and through lines of codes by just holding the control keypad. Or for example, I can use the control backspace to delete entire word rather than uh, letter by letter. And IntelliJ, is, as you might notice, actually splits the words by the uppercase, so it actually goes one word at a time. So here, for example, if I, if I hold control and I click on the right arrow, I will skip the first word and the next word. And if I want to delete this one, I can just use the control backspace and delete the other word of this filtered options here. Or I can use the control uh, delete and then remove the word that is after the cursor. So if I have some uh, difficult like uh, email protocol transfer service, for example, if I would to use the uh, arrows, I will go letter by letter, but if I use the control, I can just jump around word by word and I can, for example, remove this uh, protocol here and uh, maybe even this uh, transfer here and just rename this variable to be the email service because that's ma that makes more sense. And then I can just navigate around using the control and arrows to jump the, through the entire words. And that takes half a second because I just click on two uh, keys. And when you do this enough times, it just happens automatically. You, you don't even think about it. You're just navigating your code using these arrows. And uh, you can also use the home and end keys to quickly navigate around lines and use the shift, of course, to select the entire row or to select multiple words. So if I would go with the shift and the arrow, I can also hold shift and select the next word and then I can change it to the Gmail service, for example, or whatever I have to do by just using the control, shift and arrows. So combining the shift, you actually can select multiple words and multiple paragraphs and then you can uh, cut, paste, control, do whatever you need to do and change the, your code much, much easier and quicker than using the mouse to, to navigate around. And this navigation using the control and uh, arrows is actually not a IDE specific. It is the for entire, uh, at least Windows operating system. And I believe that it's the same for the Macintosh. So you can navigate around uh, any written text that you have. And of course, the, the autocomplete in majority of the editors is control space. So when you click control space, the editors will uh, offer you all the possible options that you can choose for uh, exact that place. So here on control space, the IntelliJ will, for example, offer me what it thinks that I can do on this specific uh, place. And this works with uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, or PHP, or what you have in your editor. And then you can just select instead of uh, filtered options, for example, the filter, and then you can just continue doing like that. And then you can bind and chain all the commands that you have by just clicking on the either dot or if you have to do the control space that will actually offer you uh, some of the values that it has. And then you can use the arrows to navigate and enter to confirm your value. Of course, shift, home, control, right. And then you can remove everything that you don't need much easier than using the mouse, actually. You might have a script that you are reading about, or you can just jump the paragraphs around. You can select multiple lines at, and everything that you need. Also use the context button if you uh, have one. For example, uh, for autocomplete, uh, you just position 
cursor on top of the word and then click the context button that will then offer you the autocomplete uh, correct version and then you can just select each word that you have that you misspelled and you can just uh, fix it by using the autocomplete without using the mouse to hunt around each and every mistake that you've made. So you can just quickly and easily fix your code. And yes, these videos are scripted a lot because I tend to uh, go off topic a lot or I forget what I was about to say. But that is not a problem for me because I can just talk it out loud, uh, what I have to say like I just did, and I can just type it in my notes for the recording session. And then uh, I can just read it when I have the time to record the actual video. And of course, this is easy to practice while using some uh, tools that teach you the blind typing, some online website, perhaps. perhaps. I personally use the typing.com because it looks quite nice. And they also have this coding essential part here that focuses on uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but it also has a lot of things that others don't have, like using the tags and using the correct syntax for that. And you basically just type and here it shows you which finger you need uh, to type. So you just start typing and uh, you progress with typing and the right position, the right finger, etc. Of course, it depends on your keyboard, but it takes only a few hours of practice to be able to write at the same speed as you, sp as you speak. It it's almost funny how little time it takes. My wife uses this website a few times in a week for five minutes, for example, and she immediately notices the difference in typing speed and proficiency. It also takes about 10 keys to learn in order to be able to type without looking at your keyboard at all. It is just funny how easy it is to speed up your typing speed. And it takes only a few hours to practice to be able to write at the same speed as you speak to around 50 or 60 or 70 words per minute. So you can get there in a few weeks of practice here and there. You don't have to dedicate a lot of time to it. And that helps a lot in everyday life also. And uh, fast typing, I would consider it to be a very important skill, a must-have skill for every developer because we are using the keyboard for pretty much everything. If you're not writing code, we are Googling, we are writing some documentation or just chatting on Slack or whatever, writing some emails. And some programmers uh, do not even use the mouse at all. You can do pretty much everything without the mouse. As a matter of fact, the entire operating system can be used without the mouse. But I use the mouse quite a lot with the web, especially with the browser and debugging and everything. However, what I have done is to use a mouse with uh, multiple buttons and I bind some of these buttons to, for example, backspace and delete, because for those keys, I would have to lift my hand from the mouse and to use the keyboard. And if I'm navigating the code, I can just position the cursor with the mouse and I can just hit control backspace that is uh, on the mouse, for example, to delete the entire word without needing to select it first. So I can just go around and uh, click and delete things, completely change the text and do all the changes that I need without even raising my hands from the keyboard. For example, I can remove the entire lines uh, or change everything or pretty much delete everything because I have bound the, those keys on my mouse so I can just easily select something and delete it and continue with my day without needing to use those precious milliseconds on the, using the keyboard. And of course, find the keyboard that works for you. I use the now legacy Microsoft Natural Ergonomics keyboard, uh, the 4000 and 7000, and I've been using it for more than 10 years, I think. And I love it so much that I buy one whenever I see it on sale on the uh, internet. And then I just swap the components because they uh, get used or they break or this skin gets uh, used up. And it has its flaws, of course, but what I like the most is that my hands just rest naturally on it, on it as if it is lying on the desk. So if I move my hand on the keyboard, it's exactly the same position. And I actually don't need anything uh, better from a keyboard, nor have I found one in that price range especially. And maybe one day I will invest a thousand of dollars into something more professional, but uh, this works just fine for me, so I tend to use it as it is. And speaking of hardware, it never hurts to buy one of these uh, training apparatuses. Or you can just have a rubber ball that you can squeeze it. It kind of reduces stress, but it also helps with some health problems because you, we tend to uh, keep our hands in a similar position while typing. Of course, it also ex extends your stamina and strength when working, so you can uh, type for longer. Because our hands and our typing skills are our main tools for producing codes, basically. So why not invest in them and uh, save ourselves a lot of time when we can? And of course, learn the most useful tools you use. For example, all the panels that you have that you are opening and closing inside of your editor, 
or all the shortcuts for navigating around, uh, where do you click, how do you click, which buttons do you use, how to navigate from file to file, also how to do refactoring because that is very important so that you can change the uh, variable names and you can change the file names etc. So do you have some similar tips that you use, uh, do you care to share them with me and, and the others in the comments? 